welcome to another video from Emberado Smithing and Woodcraft. I'm your host, Emberado. We're going to start off today with a uh, VR shout out for same old 77. He's doing a uh, giveaway, sub appreciation giveaway on his channel. If you don't know who he is, I'll leave a link down below. Go check him out. And honestly, I'm a fairly new sub of his as well. What same old 77 wants is he wants uh, to know about your most memorable outdoors moment. And forgive me for using a paper, but I got about uh, six of these to do today. I was going to do them in different locations, but unfortunately being unemployed right now since the 4th of March, money's tight and times are hard, so mm, here it is, boys and girls, sitting by the river not far from home. My most memorable outdoors moment. There are actually two that fall into that category. Uh, so this, is th this particular tale is also going to be an entry in Emberado's life, as well as the VR, the same old 77. Many years ago, when I was a young fella, I went out hunting one year with my younger brother. He's about four years younger than I am, and, uh, well, back then he tended to lot, sleep a lot. Well, we were sitting there hunting, and uh, well, he was sitting there hunting, and, and, and I was sitting in a tree about 250 yards away. And I'd been up in that tree all day from 6 in the morning until must have been just about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Sun was getting a little low in the sky. Unlike today, you can't even see the sun. It's overcast. Well, so I'm climbing down out of the tree and I start walking towards where I left my younger brother. And as I get to within about a hundred yards, I still can't see where he's at, but I can hear him. Sawing logs to beat the band. And whistling after every stroke. What I saw when I came around the corner I just wasn't ready for that. Here stands an 18 point buck that I'd been looking for all day. I'd seen him five times in the last week scouting because this was opening day of buck season. And there I stand with my compound bow and arrows in my hand and my jaw on the ground. This 18 point buck is bending down over my younger brother, sniffing at him. Trying to figure out what is this thing making this god-awful noise? Well, sure enough, I couldn't let that pass. Now, since there was a tree between me and the 18-pointer, I could see his rack sticking out from behind the tree and his entire body sticking out from behind the other side. But he hadn't noticed me because the tree was in the way of his sight line. So I knocked up an arrow, and I let fly, and he just stood there. Did I miss him? Couldn't take a chance on having missed him, so I knocked another arrow, and I let fly. Well, this time he leapt straight into the air, realizing he'd been hit. He ran about eight steps and dropped dead. Hit him both times right clean through, heart, lung, heart or long heart, long shot, dead. And then I walked over and kicked him at the bottom of my brother's boot to wake him up. And when he saw what I had laying on the ground right in front of him, he liked to have a heart attack. Well, that's the next endorsement of Emberado's life. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out Same Old 77. Peace. Out. What can I do you for? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> with somebody in the truck. No, nope. good job. Um... By the way, don't forget to.